This screencast covers the material in Module 5, Lesson 15, where we continue to work with area and with mixed number sides. Uh, it's going to focus mostly on the homework, although with two of these problems, we're going to work out a practice set problem that's very similar to a homework problem and point out where these uh, problems are similar and different. And uh, the other problem, we're just going to go over the procedure and give you some suggestions for taking care of it. There's only three problems. This is number one from the practice set. Uh, let's read it. The length of a flower, flower bed is four times as long as its width. If the width is three-eighths of a meter, what is the area? Well, we note that to find the area, we need length times width. And we're given the width. We need to find the area. So what do we have here? The length of the flower bed is four times as long as the width. So to find the length, we're going to have to multiply 4 times the width, which is 3 eighths. We're going to rewrite that 4 times 3 over 8. And I'm going to uh, find my common factors. This uh, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So our answer becomes 3 halves. <clears throat> we could also write that as 1 and 1 half. Now we need to find the area. We can simply use the area model. We will decompose 1 and 1 half. We'll multiply both 1 and the 1 half by 3 eighths. 1 times 3 eighths is 3 eighths. <clears throat> and 3 eighths times 1 half is 3 sixteenths. We'll find the sum of our partial products. We have 3 eighths plus 3 sixteenths. Now instead of multiplying 8 times 16 to find a common denominator, we're going to use our heads, right? Because 8 times 2 is 16, so we'll use that strategy. So 3 eighths becomes 6 sixteenths plus 3 sixteenths and we get the sum of 9 sixteenths, and our unit, of course, is meters squared. Of course, we need to write our statement. Let's look at the problem from the homework. Again, uh, this time we have a picnic table, and the width is three times the length. Usually I refer to the length as a longer dimension, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. So the length is five-sixths of a meter long. What is the area in square feet? Well, again, we have area equals length times width, we have the length, we need to find the width. We'll use a procedure very similar here to what we did up on the top here to find the, excuse me, to find the other dimension. Once we find the width, we can use our area model to multiply length times width, and we'll get our answer. This next problem is really quite similar to ones that we've seen in the past. Um, we have a few breaks here, though, and a few things that make this one a little bit different. It's a long, tedious problem, uh, but it's doable. And we'll point out some of the uh, uh, freebies or, or uh, easier parts of this problem. A painting company will paint this wall. The homeowner gives them the following dimensions. Window A is 6 and 1 fourth feet by 5 and 3 fourths feet. Window B is 3 and 1 eighths by 4. Window C, this is nice because they tell us, they actually give us the area here. There's no computation to be done. It's simply 9 and 1 half. That's one of our breaks. And our second break is the door is 8 feet by 4 feet. And that's really easy to calculate. So what do we need to do? We need to find the area of the entire wall. Then we need to subtract the areas of each of these windows and doors. Now we could find the total area and subtract it from the area of the larger wall, or we could take it step by step and find the area of the wall, then subtract window A, then whatever the difference is from that, subtract uh, B, whatever the difference is C and uh, D. Uh, if I did a area model, or not an area model, tape diagram, I don't know what the hole is, right? But we have, uh, this is 52 and 1 half 
times 33. <clears throat> we have window A, window B, window C, door D. This is not to proportion at all. And we're going to look for this part here. So A, B, C, and D. And that should be a very familiar area model. There's a couple of ways to approach it. Uh, it's not a really hard problem, but there's a lot of computation. Okay, number four uh, in the practice set parallels number three in the homework, and I have that on the next slide. I need plenty of room to solve this one. So let's go on. It's a fairly complicated problem. Some wire is used to make three rectangles, A, B, and C. Rectangle B's dimensions are three-fifths of a centimeter larger than rectangle A's dimensions. Rectangle C's dimensions are three-fifths larger than rectangle B's dimensions. And rectangle A's dimensions are two by three and one-fifth. So we'll start with that. So I have my A, which is three and one-fifth by two. Okay, and B is going to be three-fifths greater. So I'm going to add three-fifths to the length and to the width. Three and one-fifth times plus three-fifths is three and four-fifths. And we can add three-fifths to two, so we get two and three-fifths. That is B. C. We're adding three-fifths to each of these dimensions once again. So three and four-fifths plus three-fifths is four and two-fifths. And if you need to do that out, you can simply do the addition out. And two and three-fifths plus three-fifths is three and one-fifth. Okay, so now we're going to have to find the area of each one of these. And once we're done, we have to find the sum. So I'm going to just write out the area model. I have two, then three and one-fifth, decomposing three and one-fifth. And I have three times two is six, and one-fifth times two-fifth is one-fifth times Two times one-fifth is two-fifths. So I add those, and my area for A is six and two-fifths. Now we're going to have to do the other one. Three and four-fifths. And the other dimension will be two and three-fifths. Multiplying, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 4 fifths is 8 fifths, and that is equal to 1 and 3 fifths. 3 times 3 fifths is 9 fifths, which is 1 and 4 fifths. And finally, 4 fifths times 3 fifths is 12 20 fifths. Okay, let's find the sum of those. So I'm going to add 6 plus 1 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 4 fifths plus 12 20 fifths. We'll find the sum of the wholes. So 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8 plus 7 fifths plus 12 fifths, 20 fifths. 7 fifths is the same as 1 and 2 fifths, so I add 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 2 fifths plus 12, 20 fifths. Okay, now I need to combine my fractions. I have unlike denominators, so we're going to have to find our common denominator. We'll move this a little bit. And we will continue. Nine. Well, two fifths becomes how many twenty fifths? It would be plus ten twenty fifths. 
plus 12 25ths and that equals 9 and 22 25ths okay and these are centimeters squared lastly we'll do the other one area model once again and I have 4 and 2 fifths decompose and I have 3 and 1 fifth let's multiply our partial products I have 3 times 4 is 12 3 times 2 fifths is 6 fifths which is 1 and 1 fifth 1 fifth times 4 is 4 fifths and 2 fifths times 1 fifth is 2 twenty fifths. Okay, well, let's find the sum. And I'm going to try again to make a little bit more space here. Move things over. There we go. And keep it so we can see those other answers. So now we go 12 plus 1 and 1 fifth plus 4 fifths plus 2 twenty fifths. I'm going to add these two first because I have one fifth and four fifth, and that makes two. And two plus twelve is fourteen. All we have to do now is add the two twenty fifths. So we have fourteen and two twenty fifths. We'll find the sum of these. So I'm going to write the problem over here, then we're going to move things around a little bit. So I have six and two fifths plus. 9 and 22 20 fifths and I have 14 and 2 20 fifths okay well I'm going to again move this over so we have a little bit more space as you can see it's a lengthy procedure now I'll find the sum of the holes first so I have 6 plus 9 is 15 and 15 plus 14 is 29. So I have 29 plus 2 fifths plus 22 20 fifths plus 2 20 fifths. Let's find uh, the sum of these fractions. Now I'm simply going to convert my two, 20, my two fifths to two 20 fifths. So what do we have? So 5 times 5 is 25. So I have 2 fifths is 10 20 fifths plus 22 20 fifths plus 2 20 fifths. I find the sum. That's 29 plus 34 20 fifths. And that becomes 30 and 9 20 fifths. The unit is centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at the homework problem, very similar. A lot of work, but hey, there's only three problems. So, uh, again, now we have four rectangles. So, we have one, two, three, four. The smallest rectangle is four, is four and a half inches by seven and three fourths. So, this one is seven and three fourths by four and one half. Now again we're going to increase the size of each of these rectangles as we go. And each time we add two and a half inches. So what do we have to do? We have to add, or two and a fourth inches. For each of these dimensions here, I'm going to add two and one fourth to this and two and one fourth to this. And that gives me that rectangle. Now, whatever the measure of that rectangle is, again, I have to add two and a fourth to the length and two and a fourth to the width, and I get the third rectangle. And the fourth one, note this is not the scale. Uh, we have to add that, to whatever this is, add two and a fourth to the length, two and a fourth to the width. After we find the dimensions of each one of these, we're going to have to find the area and then find the sum of the area. It's a fair amount of work, but again, there are only th uh, three homework problems. And uh, just think of this as basically four separate problems, and then we just put them all together.